That's very good. Uh, first down, blitz. Second down, blitz. Third hey, down, go. blitz. It's worse than crack. My people stuck in idolatry, swimming in folly, it ain't making sense. Christ said he'll give you the kingdom. No, do not lie with mankind. Does that sound like a First suggestion? Blitz. Second down, blitz. Third down, blitz. Shut them down, make them repent. City of angels, I tell you. Angels protection around the most. I get a vision of people like cloudy. We come from this country. We look at the family. I eat a mice by the sky. I can let them news got the sky fox. But we just put a few hundred boots on the ground with the leadership. Boy, this my block. Take over the streets of LA. You call upon me. Because guess what? When we get high and lofty, we tend to forget about God, right? Give me OJ 515. So now we're learning the purpose. We're learning who we are. We're learning today. Other, other than going to church and putting money in a pot. In a pot. You're not even getting money. That's worse than a casino. I don't even got no chance to win. I ain't got no receipt. I got no goods. Only thing I got out of here is a feel good and a prosper and a lie. Lies feel good. Truth hurt, right? Read what you got. All the day I'm finding a new thing. Uh-huh. I will go and return to my place. God said I'm going to leave him alone. I'm going to go return to my place. Read. Till they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge what we did wrong, bro. When we figure out what we did wrong, that's when he said he's gonna come back and fix us, right? But while we out here smoking weed thinking we doing nothing wrong, we think we think we smarter than God. We think we smarter than his Bible, which he left us, right? Read on. And seek my face. Uh-huh. He said we're gonna start to seek his face. We're gonna, we gonna start to wonder, damn, why is he why is we going through this? Why do white people hate us so much? The answer in there. You get what I'm saying? Why are we on the bottom of society? The answer in there. Look. How do we get back into rulership? The answer in there. But yeah. well, we got to seek God's face to understand it, you know? In the affliction. In your affliction, while you getting what? While you getting that whooping, right? Read on. They will seek me early. They going to seek me early. So guess what? When you see Trayvon Martin, that's affliction. Right. You get what I'm saying? Hands up, don't shoot. That's affliction. I am a man. That's affliction. You get what I'm saying? Martin Luther King shot dead on camera. That's affliction. Right. You get what I'm saying? Low low income housing and all that. Right. Wick, uh, welfare. That's right. affliction. Right. We don't know how we're going to pay our bills next month. Right. He said, when you're going through all that, you're going to seek me for sure. Right. God said, you're going you gonna to come looking for me because your enemy's going to put a whooping on you. He said, I'm going to leave you alone. For instance, right? You got a woman? Uh, she passed away now. Oh, I hate to hear that, sir. I hate to hear that. But you loved her, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. So... If you have a woman, you, you married now, or you, you plan on getting remarried? Not yet, you still letting them feelings die down? For sure, understood, understood. If you have a woman, right, uh, give me uh, Jeremiah 6 and 3. Look how God compares us, right? God compares us to not only stiff-necked and rebellious children, right, but he also compares us to this, watch. Jeremiah 6 and verse 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman. He said, I liken the daughter of Zion to a beautiful, delicate woman. That's why they call Christ the bridegroom. We the bride. We married to Christ, right? It's, it's like a like a simile. You know what I'm saying? Like a light figure. You know, I say it's cold as ice. Not literally ice out here, but it's a light figure, right? He said, I liken the daughter of Zion to a comely and delicate woman, right? So we married to the Most High. When we go into idolatry, that would be what? Adultery. Right. So basically, we cheat on God, right? Now, bear with me. If you have a woman and you brought her up from nothing, right? She was looking bad. You fixed her up. And then she cheated on you with another man that don't work, right? He don't, he's not even real. He, he don't work. He, she cheated on you with another man, right? And that man starts to hit her. They start to mentally abuse her. And she come crying to you and say, oh, he hit me. What you going to say? Hey, that's her problem. Exactly, you gonna say that's what you get. That's what you get. Right. I ain't helping you until you acknowledge that I was the man for you, right? Until you acknowledge your offense. That's the same thing God said. You get what I'm saying? Until we acknowledge our offense, you're like, I'm gonna leave you to yourself. Right. You're gonna continue to get that whoop. But when you return to me, he turned your captivity, right? So what other things you dealing with? What if you could ask God a question, right? What would you ask him? Is there any hope for us? Is there any hope? Um, absolutely. Uh, even though that they might have hope. Um, yes, yes, give me that. What was 15 for? 
Thanks, you all praise, you all praise. Watch this, watch this. Romans 15 and verse 4. Huh? Huh? We're in the mess down here. For sure. Hell. Exactly. This is hell. I'm going to show you that too. Watch this. Romans 15 and 4. Uh -huh. For whatsoever things were written before time, uh -huh. were written for our learning. Everything written before time in here is written for you to learn from. Guess what? We can learn from King Solomon going into idolatry. Right? We got the, the kingdom taken away from us. We can learn from like, uh, from uh, adultery from King David. Right? We can, learn, um, we can learn how not to be a betrayer from Judas. Everything written written for our learning, right? Read on. That we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, patience right? and comfort of the scriptures, read, might have hope. Might have what? Hope. The scriptures give us hope, right? right. I'm going to show you some hope right here. Give me Deuteronomy 30 and 2. There we right? go. Here go to hope. Here goes some hope. The scriptures going to give us hope. Some Hope is something that you can't see, right? right. It's the same thing as faith, right? Yeah. Something that you can't see, but you know it's coming. Right? right? Watch this. Deuteronomy 32. Uh huh. And shalt return unto the Lord thy God. We as a people are going to return to God. We're going to return to God. It's prophesied. Read. And shalt obey his voice. We're going to obey God's voice. According to all that I command thee this day. Everything God commanded us, we're going to start to keep the commandments again. We're going to start to keep the Sabbath day again. Our women ain't going to be wearing pants no more, right? The men ain't going to put their fringes on. We're going to work. And so on and so We're going to get married again. No more whoremongering and fornication. God prophesied we was going to do these things, read. No, and I choose. So I learn the commandments, I teach them to my kids, read. With all thy heart, uh -huh. and with all thy soul. Yep. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity. So you was on the bottom, under all nations. He going to turn your captivity and put you back on top. Right, read on. And have compassion upon thee. And he gonna have compassion on the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and natives, the people that went into slavery. He said, I'm gonna have compassion on that people. Read. And will return and gather thee from all the nations. He said, I'm gonna return and gather you from all the nations where you were scattered. We scattered all over the place. We in Cuba, we in Haiti, we in Ghana, you know what I'm saying? We in South America, North America, we everywhere. He said, once they start to keep my commandments, I'm going to return and gather them from all the nations where they were scattered in slavery. Read. Whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. Uh-huh. And the Lord thy God will bring thee into the land uh -huh. which thy fathers possessed. He said, I'm going to bring you back into the land which your fathers possessed. Now, ain't that some hope? Ain't that a reason to try to keep the commandments? Otherwise, if we had no hope, we might as well get high. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing else to do. We just out here living. We don't know our purpose in life. What's our purpose? What do you think it is? My purpose is to teach my children about the Lord. Yeah? Yeah, that's a good purpose. You know, that's my purpose right now. Hopefully uh -huh. they don't make the mistakes that I made. Right, right. Yeah. What's some of the mistakes you made? Um, getting high. And, uh, getting like, high. You know, fornication. Fornication. You know, uh, what else? Uh, I don't steal. I don't think I steal, you know. Right. Everybody got different, uh, different vices. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got my struggles too, you know, I can't. Not to judge nobody, you know, I got my struggles. Right, right. Now, when you say you don't judge nobody, what does that mean? It means, um, uh, I, I, that means, um, uh, I can't, uh, you know, I can't look at this brother different, you know, he's the same as I am, you know. Uh -huh. I can't, I can't, I can't criticize somebody for what they're doing, you know. There you go, so that's what I wanted to get. So uh, when you learn a different price, right. you put a different spirit on you. Yeah. Different doctors coming out of that. So the spirit under this white Christ is that we can't judge nobody. And we think judgment means criticize, right? So what judgment actually means is execute judgment upon you, right? So when you commit adultery uh, in the Old Testament, what was the judgment? Stone, stone, stone to death, right? right? You get stoned to death. When you break the Sabbath, you die. You get what I'm saying? If you beat up your boy, Right? And he didn't die. And he went to the hospital. You had to, you had to pay his hospital bill. You get what I'm saying? It was judgments that came upon the children of Israel, right? Now, when it say thou shalt not judge, it's not saying criticize, right? Watch this. John 7 and 24. Uh huh. Judge not according to the appearance. He said, don't judge according to the appearance, read. But judge righteous judgment. He said, what? Judge righteous judgment. Judge righteous judgment. So, here go an example, right? 
uh, a sister come walk by here. She got on booty shorts, uh, breast out. She think that they look good. But if I told her, hey man, don't come out here like that. Your whole thing is out, man, get in the house. If we all as men did that. Cause right now, us all as men, we look like, woo -hoo! So that, that emboldened her to do it more, right? But if we all as men criticize saying, what are you doing out here like that? I can see your whole thing. Get out of here like that. Right. She'd be like this. She'd make sure that she cover herself up around you. Guess what that would do? That would fix the whole land just by criticizing one another. Just give me uh, Leviticus 19. Give me Leviticus uh, 19 and 16. Look what this, this is a law. This is a law, right? We must we must tell each other where we're going off, right? If you um if you um if your buddy he smoke weed, you know what I'm saying? And he get in your car and light up. He light up uh, some weed, right? And you don't say nothing. You think it's cool? You get what I'm saying? But if you're like, hey, bro, my kids in here, man. I, I can't have you smoking weed in my car. I don't like that smell anyway. He put that out before he even get in your car. You get what I'm saying? Just by criticizing, which we call judging. That's not judging, right? But look what the Bible says. Leviticus 19:17. Uh huh. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You're not supposed to hate your brother in your mind, right? Yeah. Read on. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy name. That's not any wise what? Rebuke thy name. What you think it means to rebuke? It means to rebuke is uh, uh, tell him not to do it. Stay away from it, you know. All right, it means to correct him yeah. or criticize him. Yeah. Right? So the, the, the God's laws is telling you opposite than what the church is teaching us. It's saying instead of hating him, you should correct him. Uh, chapter 30. So where he going to go get? We said rebuke is correction. We're going to read it out the Bible. Watch this. Psalms. Chapter 39 and verse 11. Uh -huh. When thou with rebukes, does correct man. When thou what? When thou with rebukes. Does correct man. And one more time for the fire truck. When thou with rebuke. When thou with rebuke. Read. Does correct man. With does what? Correct. It means correct the man. You get what I'm saying? That's what it means. Go back to Leviticus 19. Leviticus 19 and 17. So we are here to give you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans a proper education in the Bible so you know what to do to get to the kingdom of heaven. No. And guess what? A lot of people don't want to get we comfortable in the slum. We, Hiding away in our iniquity. We like breaking the Sabbath. We like whoremongering. And all, guess what come with those things? Captivity, right? Read what you got. Leviticus 19 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. You're not supposed to hate your brother in your mind. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. We're supposed to do what? Rebuke thy neighbor. You're supposed to correct your neighbor, your brother, right? So if you don't correct him, you're showing him what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. So if you don't rebuke him, he's showing him what? Read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. You shouldn't hate your brother in your mind. Read. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy name. Instead of hey, hating brother, him, brother, you should correct him. Son for me. Thank you. Instead of hating him, yeah. you should correct him, right? So if you don't correct your brother, what are you showing him? Showing him hate. Ah, you showing him hatred. Right? If, if my brother's smoking crack and I don't, and I, I, I probably can't get him off of it, you know what I'm saying? But if I don't, I don't at least make him uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? I'm showing him that it's okay to do so. Right, I'm right. showing him hatred for killing himself. Right? You know. And not suffer sin upon him. And don't allow him to sin. You don't allow him to sin, right? So now I ask you again, should we judge each other? Uh, I say no. You say no? Okay, okay. Now, if we as men, right, let's say, let's say this power block, me, you, this brother here, all us men right here, we live in those apartments right there, right? And if we said in our community meeting, look, we not having no drug dealing over here no more, ain't no fighting going on no more, we as men finna get out here, and anytime we see whores coming out, we gonna rebuke it and correct it. When drug dealers come over here, we gonna rebuke it and correct it, right? Would drug dealers feel comfortable coming on our block? No, they would not. Would whores feel comfortable with uh, coming on our block? No, they would not, right? Now, guess what? If we didn't do it, if we don't judge, if we don't correct, are they going to change? Right. So we're not changing nothing. We just exist in it. So we have to rebuke. We have to correct. That's our job out here as men. 
Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you.